unstable glucose levels trigger the release of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which can result in palpitations, weakness, sugar cravings, anxiety, irritability in sensitive individuals. The average person can, consumes refined carbohydrates three to six times a day, uh, placing themselves on this invisible internal roller coaster all day long and even well into the night. So to find out where you stand, I would encourage you to buy or borrow a simple finger stick blood glucose meter and test your blood sugar at home about an hour after eating. Even better, if you can access one, wear a continuous glucose monitor for a couple of weeks. In, in Canada and in many European countries, you can buy these without a prescription. Uh, but here in the United States, continuous glucose monitors, uh, the, the sensors require a prescription. A single sensor, which provides 10 to 14 days worth of data, costs about $70 here in the US. This is a screenshot of continuous glucose monitor readings uh, from one of my patients who was eating a sugar-free Mediterranean diet. Now, the two most important signs of carbohydrate, uh, of poor carbohydrate tolerance are very unstable glucose levels and glucose levels that spike too high. Ideally, you want your blood glucose to stay under 125 milligrams per deciliter or seven millimole. And any way of eating that spikes it to over 140 milligrams per deciliter or greater than 7.8 millimole is dangerous for the brain and body and should be avoided. So as you can see, this particular individual had quite a bit of variability and uh, glucose levels rose into the unhealthy range there uh, just to the right of the middle of the chart. And that was after eating an afternoon snack. That snack contained, uh, consisted of a small quantity of plain unsweetened yogurt topped with whole grains, one piece of salmon nigiri, which is just uh, some raw salmon and some and, and white rice, and four mushrooms. So this Mediterranean diet was clearly not uh, particularly healthy for this particular individual's metabolism. And, and then uh, this tracing, the blue tracing, is what glucose tracings look like on a ketogenic diet, much more stable, a lot less drama, and really in the healthy range the entire time. Uh, the problem with high sugar, high insulin diets isn't just you know unstable blood sugar and insulin levels and risks for type 2 diabetes and many chronic physical health conditions. High sugar and high insulin diets destabilize and damage the brain in a variety of different ways.